Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Over the Potato. Welcome on back to Despotism 3K. That's right, we're continuing our um, interestingly unsuccessful streak. Um, but that's okay. It's okay to be unsuccessful from time to time. It happens. Let's uh, let's go ahead and I think we want to sort of play with the the strategy that we played with uh, with last time. You know, the strategy that involved around us basically just breeding so many people that it didn't actually matter. Um, there we go. We'll get that. Uh, it didn't actually matter. Um, it didn't actually matter if people died. And in fact, if people died, it was kind of just you know like one of those unfortunate side effects of um, you know reality. I do want to get an upgrade to my wheel, my hamster wheel. I also want to get an upgrade to my breeding machine as well. I feel that both are pretty important. I think we're okay for food production currently, but we'll take stock at the end of today. Also, getting arms, pretty darn important. I want to see how that goes. I want to put my next two chaps into breeding. There we go. Yeah, just getting this early stamina upgrade is just so key. Like, it really is incredible. Um, in fact, I would like to get the next one as well, but I don't think we'll be able to do that today. Anyway, uh, we'll save up our chaps. And by save them up, I mean we'll use them immediately to make us more food, because we are going to need a little bit more food. Um, but in all seriousness, we do need to make sure that we save, you know, we reserve a couple of chaps to make sure that we can, uh, you know, make sure that we can make this work. Uh, I do want to get power increase. I also do want to get this, although unfortunately I'm not going to be able to get it uh, this cycle. Although I would dearly love to. Dearly, dearly love to. Okay, let's take you two chaps out and straight back in. There we go, two more. Looks like we're going to have to swap out that. There we go. Can we get an upgrade here? Yes, I'll take that. It's going to bring us close to zero, but that's okay. Swap you chaps out. There we go. In, out, in, out. Shake it all about. Do the hokey cokey Turn around. That's what it's all about. Exactly. Okay, so, um, day one. Pretty successful, I think. Uh, we've discovered an ancient OS image. Having launched it, we found only one program installed. It's called I Hate This Game. Launch. The visuals are terrible. The animation sucks. The music is awful. A weird pixel man running back and forth. What is this? Try to complete the level. I failed. This is stupid. I hate the game. Try to complete the level again. Try to complete the level again. Try to complete the level again. You failed once again. Turn everything off. This game is stupid. You shut down the virtual machine. Perhaps you avoided something odd and mysterious. Maybe, or maybe you just, um, you know, missed out on a really great opportunity to play uh, to play a good old video game. Anyway, our energy storage has increased, and we're going to certainly uh, take that opportunity to uh, to do some good. I very much hope. Yeah, we need to just get that upgrade to the claw. I think that should honestly probably be my first upgrade. It is actually just so worth it that it's not even funny. And um, we are going to have a serious food problem if we don't get our um, if we don't get our stuff together. So let's make sure that we get on top of that El Pronto style. Uh, looks like we're okay for food for now. Take you chaps out of there. Put some more chaps in there. I would love to get my next level of um, human storage. That would be really really good. Although, we can't quite afford it at this rate. Also, would love to get my new level of uh, power generation. That would be very, very good, actually. It gives us two people. Two extra people. That's a huge bonus. If we could get two extra people. Okay, take you out. And one more in here. Here, there, and then let's try and get some people. Let's file away some people into here. There we go. I mean, look, we've got full full capacity human breeding as far as I'm concerned. Let's let's get all of that out. Let's upgrade. Oh, we don't want to do that quite yet. Let's get that. Oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Should we take the opportunity? I think we can. Yeah, we can. It's gonna bring us. It's gonna bring us close. But that's okay. Let's also put us down to get some more food. Okay. Yeah. So this is gonna bring us quite close. But again, I feel that we're, you know, we're fine. Everything's fine. Take two out of there, put two more in. Would also be able to, I would also love to be able to buy another arm. But unfortunately, I am, you know, unfortunately just stuck with one arm at the moment. Or two arms, or three arms, should I say. I really shouldn't complain. Three arms is, uh, 
more than most people, so I, I shouldn't moan about it. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Heck of a lot of heck of a lot of food. Heck of a lot of everything, actually. I feel that I've sort of I've sort of you know started this game up, and everything is just so zen that it's it's all good, really. Getting level three of stamina is incredible. It's just the days that are the problem, you know. At the end of every day, you're kind of just like, what is what is the next they're gonna bring? Uh, stuck. Who do they think the safety warnings are for? A puny human thought he was smarter than the machine and got his arm stuck in the food generator again. Let's just tear off the arm and keep it working. Let's run the machine backwards. Should release the human. This is stupid. We'll just keep working if nothing happened. Let's just tear off the arm and keep working. <laughs> yep. Died from blood loss and dead body was dragged through the food generator. Anyway, now that he's stuck in the cogs, food production is lowered. Not exactly what I was hoping to hear, but that's okay. That's okay. It, you know, stuff like this happens from time to time. We need to just accept that reality. Um, can we get an upgrade? I would love to get an upgrade, but unfortunately I cannot. We need to absolutely get an upgrade to our power. That is non-negotiable. I will take that and I will pump this full of extra little chaps. There we go. Yeah, so we're having serious problems with uh, food generation right now. So in order to make sure that things don't get messed up, let's shred a bunch of chaps also gives us food and energy which is pretty much exactly what we're looking for i'm telling you this this whole high breeding strat is actually the best just keep on chucking them away honestly like i i think it's honestly i think we actually make them faster than we chuck them away if i was to upgrade that so we get more power per dude that we chuck that would be kind of helpful all right take you out of there put another one in there put another one in there just make sure that we're, you know, potentially using the uh, the worst people in our society for this, you know, just to just to make sure. Okay, good. But power production is actually pretty pretty good, actually. We're pretty okay for power production. Pretty happy with the way that things are going. Four hundred and twenty to get the next level, though. That's a pretty big jump up. Same with the human storage. What about the um, what about the the human resource management? Um. It's 170, but also we don't quite have the energy for that quite yet. We probably will uh, in the next uh, in the next section. 130 over here. Honestly, I think that we take that. Um, I could go after a um, an upgrade here. It would increase the maximum. Would be nice. I'm more concerned about getting the arms. That's what I would very much like to do. Okay, good. Let's. Okay, more arms, more arms, more arms. Arms are so essential. Okay, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, and then dump a bunch of people into into the into the bath. Come on, I want more food and I want more energy. I tell you what, this 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 uh, the human resource management area is just going absolutely bonkers. It really is. It's insane. <laughs> they just don't stop. <laughs> they just don't stop. <laughs> uh, Shredder. I'm Shredder. Bow to me, pathetic piece of junk. Isn't Shredder a device that, like, cuts paper? What a stupid name. You you got a boss? Call him over. I'll make you swim in the bioreactor. What a stupid name. How dare you? I'm the leader of the ancient food clan. Are you for real? You've lost your marbles? Blah, 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 blah. After a short struggle... Uh, you've lost one tentacle in the fight, but received 290 power and 25 food from the bioreactor. Okay, what are we going to use this um, this power on? That's the question. I think probably we want it to increase our stamina. Either that or our power generation. I think let's let's be bold here. Let's get it to increase our power generation. That's a f increase of five people. That's huge. Um. You know, we're going to have trouble, you know, we're going to have trouble dealing with all of these people, honestly. But we're going to be regenerating power like there is quite literally no tomorrow. Um, so that's hugely exciting. We need to get that upgrade on our arms again. Um, yeah, 230. Do we just go for it straight out? I mean, I think at this rate, our power regenerates so quickly that we kind of have to. So I'll take it. Um, yep, yeah, let's just stick a whole bunch of people into the reactor just to make sure that, you know, we're, we're all, we're all above board. Here we go. One more. And one more over there. 
Good stuff. Yeah, this is fine. This is absolutely fine. 11 people on the power generator. That is just insane. We are going to double that? Okay, I mean, we've not even come close, I feel. I, I genuinely do feel that we have not even come close to approaching maximum capacity. Okay, swap out you, put in some more people. Okay, looks fine from my vantage point. Nothing seems to be going too desperately wrong. Uh, I would like to, there we go, change out a bunch of people. Maybe it would be good if we could, uh, you know, bin them all. Or put them in the bioreactor, I of course mean. 420, 420, we're not far off. And I think we're certainly going to get it here. Yep. I want to take this upgrade. It's a, maybe it was a bit dangerous, but, you know, let's just dump a few more people in here. I honestly think we'll be fine. Can we upgrade the bioreactor? We can, but we need a bit more, we need a bit more gold. A bit more energy. Gold? What am I talking about? Um, Yeah, that's fine. One, two, three, four, and then let's replace them pretty much all straight away. Yep, and then we're going to just stick all of these people into the reactor. Make sure that we're totally in a fine situation going into the next day. Breeding chamber still working totally fine. I think that probably we're going to try and get an upgrade at some point today. Um, not going to worry too much about this cycle. We'll worry about it next cycle. We're not going to cap out on energy at this cycle. It's always good to have a little bit of extra just going into the end of the day. Anyway... Rebel. A rebel has infiltrated the base, which would be funny, unless he had a stinger. Ready to even get one. Let's talk to the silly creature. Let's send Frank to do the diplomacy. Frank, this is Frank's a smart human. Let's throw a brick at him. We're fast, agile, and strong. Let's talk to the silly creature. I think he didn't like being called a hairless ape. Now we have a hole in the food generator. Leaking sauce like a wounded deity. Um, great. Uh, anyway, we produce 25% less food. Really? So that's 25% reduction on top of a 13% reduction. It's a good thing that we don't really rely on uh, food production to... Uh, it's, a, it's a good thing that we don't rely on this this, this thing to, to, to make food. We just shred the humans and then, you know, that's how we operate. Anyway, I was talking a little bit about getting this upgraded. I think we can probably just go straight, up, straight away and upgrade it right now. We'll take that quite nicely. We'll pop two people in here. Uh... Okay, more more people into the food generator. I mean, it's kind of not even worth it at this point, is it? I don't even know if it is worth it. Like genuinely, I'm not in, I'm not entirely sure. I would love to get an upgrade. I would love to get an upgrade on that actually. It doesn't increase the amount of food that you get, but it does increase the amount of power you get. And that would be kind of nice. I'm going to take that. Yeah, okay. It's just like, what? what is even the point? What is the point? Let's just, yeah, dump a whole bunch more people in here. Mm, yep, let's make sure that we're at capacity for electricity always. Um, Yeah, I mean, we're not even like, we're totally on top of this. I feel that this has been a, a run to remember. It really has been. Exceptionally. It, it's done, we've done exceptionally well. Okay, just, you know, shove a bunch of people in here. I wish they took from the bottom of the energy queue rather than always taking from the top. I feel that that's kind of a little bit unfair. Um, okay, that was kind of a little bit of a problem, but, you know, we ran out of food a little bit. It happens sometimes. Really? I'm not that concerned. The weakest die off, the strongest live on. Circle of life, innit? It's a circle of life. Okay, looks like we'll manage to f feed everyone. I guess we'll put another person in there. Um, minus two, plus two. Minus three, plus three. There we go. One more. We got the one more. Okay, take a couple out there. Put a couple back in. Butter. Curses. I can't get off my mind off butter. My arm's itchy. My capacitor's overheat. And I haven't taken a single bit today. Let's go to the next day. Butter. I think I'm a full-time tyrant now. Humans are suffering. The power is being generated at a steady pace, and yet all I can think of is butter. Fat, chewy butter on a plate with bread. I need something to do about it now. Perhaps I should serve some butter to the puny humans. 
butter free. Tinker with your processes or refer to butter term in any way. Perhaps I should serve the butter to the human. Humans, we've lost zero food. Okay, that's productive, I guess. Um, we seemingly lost a whole bunch of stuff. That's kind of okay, um, if you ask me. Let's upgrade the bioreactor because then I guess maybe we can get to a point where we produce more than four food per human. Um, we need to actually work on getting our food up very quickly, in fact. Otherwise, we're going to have a serious problem. Yeah, that, that was what I would call a serious problem. Yeah, kind of a serious problem. Our food production is just so unbelievably low, it's not even funny. We really can't do very much. One of them is going to die. That's fine. That's fine. That's okay. This stuff happens. Okay, put them in here. Put them in the breeding chamber, please. This is a problem. This is a problem. This is a real problem. I, okay, I don't think we're going to be able to survive this. That's, um, interesting. Okay. Yep, this is, uh, this is a bit of a problem. Maybe we should have spent a little bit more upgrading, well, anything, actually. I think we've had it. I think we've had it, chaps. Bother. That's a little bit of an annoyance, actually. Oh, I thought we were gonna do it. Oh, no! Damn, that was... I felt like we were really, really close there, actually. We were really getting into a, a good roll. That's a, that's a shame, actually. I felt like we really were... Food production was down by 25%, and it was slowed by 13%. So, on the whole, it was down by, like... I know it's not the exact maths, but it was down by, like, 30%. I feel that... I probably shouldn't have just abandoned it and relied solely on the bioreactor. But on the whole, I'm actually pretty happy with that performance, given the negative modifiers that we got. So... It's like, yeah, okay. Fair enough, I understand. It sucks, but... That is the way that things go. That's the way the cookie crumbles, you know? Anyway, ladies and gents, on that note, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Obed Potato. This has been Despotism 3K, and I'll see you next time. Bye.